bring in the Q's Countdown crew to talk some more Syracuse basketball, Scott Grotsky and Kevin Ware. And guys, the Orange taking a huge hit this offseason. They lose Johnny Flynn, Eric Devendorf, and Paul Harris. It's always tough when you lose your top scorer. But your top three, this, per this puts the Orange in a tough spot. Well, yeah, Landon, and you're losing your top three scorers. And, and Kevin, you're losing 45 points per game from those three That's players. That's a lot. So uh, they're going to have to find a way with the front court to try to fill it the front court is coming back. But it's going to be tough to replace. There is going to be a lot of emphasis on Arinze Anawaku this season. The, as Scott said, the bigs are going to be the focus of this offense. Andy Routens is one of the best three-point shooters in the country. But the point guard position is a little bit of a toss-up right now. Who's going to play? Scoop Jardine. Uh, Brandon Trish. So who's going to get the ball around? More emphasis on the bigs. It's going to be interesting to see with Routens which Andy Routon shows up, the great three-point mm -hmm. shoot we saw last year or the one in Midnight Madness who just yeah. couldn't hit a basket. Well, because Andy Routon has been known in his career to go ice cold for streaks. He can go 9 of 9 from distance, but he can also go 0 of 9. Well, guys, there is help on the way. After sitting out a year, Wesley Johnson is all set to play. What impact can he bring to this team? Yeah, Wes Johnson is an absolute star. Bayheim calls him a potential lottery pick, and he will live up to the hype. And it's not an awkward transition, Scott, because he's been with this team for a year. He's going to fit seamlessly into this lineup. But, Kevin, there comes a point where the hype is just too much. And I think that with Wes Johnson, people are expecting him to come in, and people are expecting him to be Carmelo Anthony. And, and he's not ready for that. He's a good player, but you're looking for someone to replace 45 points. I, I don't see No, that. he's not going to replace all 45 points, but he's an excellent player. He can be a 20-5 and five guy for this team. The, the problem is, this is what the team needs, is him to replace all three of those guys, and he simply can't do it. He's, he's not sure. Superman. Well, if this team is going anywhere, Wes Johnson really needs to step up his game and have, a, have himself a very good season. So finally, guys, how far do you think this team can actually go? Well, Lennon, I think Wes Johnson is very good, and I think that he'll get them into the round of 32, but again, he can't fill the shoes of all three of those guys. This isn't a team that's going in the Sweet 16 like last year. Well, they may go to the national championship. No, I'm kidding. Round, round of 32. I got you guys in, I know. The round of 32, it, this is a team that you could see winning that first game in the tournament. I could see them probably losing in the second round. Safe to say, you know, we usually don't agree, but round of 32. <laughs> so not bold enough to say that this well, is a it, national a, championship team. It's a team that could go on a streak like all of these Syracuse teams that, that uh, Coach Beheim brings in. They they can get lucky once or twice and maybe make a, a deeper run, but I, I think I got to They have 32. talent, but it's not the same level of talent that they could have had obviously, without Johnny Flynn, Eric Devendorf, and Paul Harris. This was a team that right after the tournament ended last season when North Carolina won the title, Dick Vitale, all the other big names were predicting them in their top five. Now they're outside the top 25. You know, they lost the talent. It's not there. Kevin Ware, Scott Grotsky, if you want more Q's Countdown, check it out tomorrow at 10 o'clock, Time Order 26.